Hi everybody, my name is John Butler. I want to welcome you to another Fastener Moment with the Olander Company. Um, I am a certified Fastener Specialist. I have been in the industry for over 26 years and the Olander Company started in 1962. We have three locations on the West Coast, two in California and one in Washington. So today I'll be getting more into the AVK inserts and also the tooling as a review for the different items that we have. We will also be recording um, videos on different tools. that will be in separate um, videos. They'll all be located at olander.com and also on our YouTube channel. So please make sure you check that out for more Fastener moments. All right, so I'll be going over the different inserts that AVK Industrial Product has. We have a fine sample here that has the different inserts. And on the back side, you'll see the different profiles that each one has, each one for different applications. So how does a blind insert work? Blind insert meaning you can put this insert in, inside a application where you cannot get to the opposite side. So with any of the inserts, I want to make sure that I go ahead and turn the insert on, three quarters or in, uh, to one turn to make sure that I'm not cross-threading the insert. Then I'll take the material that I'm putting it into, here is a demo plate, and I'm using the AVK4878, and I'm going to pull a trigger and collapse the insert. This works off of torque, so it's like this. Now what I have is an insert that will not turn and I have threads on the inside of very thin sheet metal. So what we have here is after we collapse it, we have a flange on the back side. There's knurling on this insert to top, stop it from spinning as well. And we also have inserts that would have a hexed punched hole for added anti-rotation. And AVK has their hexed inserts for that. So this is an AVK stud, so it's a regular AL series insert and they put a stud inside the insert and then they hit it here to keep it from anti-rotation. These tools that I'm showing you today can, can also install these stud inserts. If you need a watertight um, solution for your inserts, we also have blind inserts that are closed in so that they don't have a hole all the way through it. These are also installed with the same tooling that we have. We also have the original rivet nut from AVK and the AR series, which is um, basically known as a plus nut. And this is used for plastic applications. So the battery operated tool, the AVK4878, actually has a digital readout and I can adjust the torque per the manual that AVK ships with each one of these parts. So how do I go ahead and adjust the torque on this? So I want to take the battery off, slide it back on, pull the trigger first, slide it back on, and I'll have a tone. Once I get that tone, I can go ahead and release the trigger and adjust how much torque I'm adjusting the insert for per what insert I'm installing. Now I go ahead and pull a trigger again, take the battery off, release the trigger, slide the battery back on, and now I'm ready to pull the insert and add different um, applications for different um, torque settings. So what I always want to do is about every hundred inserts, I want to go ahead and use a wax block and just pull a trigger and build up a little bit of wax on the mandrel itself, this helps with application um, installation to make sure that the uh, insert will, will spin freely and, and uh, uh, set. Okay. So the front end of this tool can also be used with their arrow tools. So I go ahead and pull this back and turn it and it will open up and that will release my TAK, also known as a thread adaption kit. So a thread adaption kit has this hex drive, the mandrel inside itself, as well as a bearing set. 
Now this bearing set, I want to talk about this, is very important. It comes with two races and also a bearing on the inside, a thrust bearing. So these are sintered metal. You always want to make sure you buy them from AVK. Don't use just a standard flat washer because it's not going to be sintered metal and it's not going to be uh, lubricated enough to set the insert. So I'll put it back in, push it in, take my hex drive, put it inside the insert. Now my tool, as I said, was already open. I'll push this to the inside of the insert of the tool, push down and lock it in place and I'm ready to go. So the one thing I really like about AVK, is going to open this back up again, is this same thread adaption kit also fits the arrow tool, which is from AVK. So on here again, I have a push button that will open this up. I take my thread adaption kit, I line it up with the drive on the inside. Push it in place, turn it here to lock it, and it's ready to install inserts. Now this has a rocking trigger. It is a pneumatic tool, and it does have different RPM settings or bearing setups. For this one, it's a 900 RPM. So the AVK engineering manual will tell you what RPMs to use for which inserts. And this one happens to be a 900 RPM setup. So when I want to install the insert, again, I want to turn it on three quarters to one turn and then has a rocking trigger here. I'll hook it up to air, pull the trigger. After putting it inside the hole, it'll collapse the insert. Once it is installed, the tool will stall. Then I rock the trigger back the other way and I'll get out of the insert. And that's how the arrow tools work. Now we also have um, less expensive tools. So these tools work just as well, except they're manual placement. So I, again, I want to go ahead and turn this insert onto the tool. Take the insert, put it inside the hole, and then I'll collapse the insert. Now I need to adjust this for the particular size, but you get the idea of how it would work, and it would collapse the same way. Uh, the only thing different on this was I would have to turn the insert here, the knob, to get out of the insert. Okay. Now the other inserts that we have are known as nut certs, and these are the ones that collapse inside themselves instead of having a flange on the back side. So the, the way that these work is with a high torquer tool or with the arrow tool or the AVK 4878. That's not an issue. Either way you want to go, but this is a little less expensive to use. So when I put this inside the application, I'll hold this bar here and then turn the T handle here, which will collapse the insert. Okay. This has a conversion kit on the inside as well. Here I have it in the lock position. I'll open that up and that allows me to get to the thread adaption kit. So AVK has different inserts for different applications. Consult AVK or the Olander Company, of course, at www.olander.com. My name is John Butler, and this has been a Fastener Minute. Thank you very much.